And there is other help available to all federal workers, whether it is in the form of a loan or just something to eat. Here's Walter Smith Randolph. Here at New Prospect Baptist Church, furloughed federal workers are getting a gift card, a free meal, and some groceries. The pastor here says it's a blessing to help those in need, but he also says government has forgotten about the little people. It is not fair at all. Um, you know, border crisis or whatever, what, why do these people have to pay for that? It is not fair at all. Edwina McCurdy is a furloughed IRS worker. She's thankful her church is helping her family of seven. It's starting to get tough. I got my Duke bill a couple of days ago and I actually started crying and I and I was like, what are we going to do? Edwina says her family is starting to feel the pinch now that the shutdown has stretched into a second month. We missed our first check. And I was like, okay, so we start calling bill collectors and stuff, and everybody's been pretty graceful, but then now we're going into a new month. And so now I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. The shutdown is also having a trickle-down effect. Loan officers at SinFed Credit Union are working overtime to process low-interest loans for furloughed workers. We've obviously got a higher volume of loan applications coming through, and we've got a folks in our lending department that are working you know, 12-hour days to try to process all those loans in a timely fashion. Jim Capps says loan applications have doubled in the past week. It's a combination of things. It's, it's combination one is that it's been long enough now. It's been almost 30 days. It has been 30 days since the government shutdown started. And also that second paycheck is coming up, and that's another paycheck that people aren't having to, to, to get their bills paid and to cover their expenses. That's why Edwina is thankful for her church family. While these free groceries won't pay her Duke energy bill, every little bit helps. And Edwina has a message for lawmakers. Just have a heart and let us go back to work. It's not like we're people that's not trying to work. We work. We work and we want to do good for the country. So let us do it. In Roselawn, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. The Free Store Food Bank gave 200 families free groceries tonight. The church also gave away $40 gift cards, which were donated by church members.